Good morning everybody and I am so excited because this is the start of a brand new cruise series. I cannot wait to take you all along and show you what we get up to. If you're already subscribed to the channel then welcome back but if you're new hello welcome my name's Lorna I love to go on holidays I love to take people along with me um, and my fiance who is hiding somewhere uh, is coming with me um, and we are traveling on P&O's Avia um, for the next two weeks um, and sailing around the Mediterranean I just can't wait and um, we've got five stops in Spain and one stop in France. So we've got Marseille, and then we've got Cadiz, 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 um, La Coruña, Alicante, Valencia, and Barcelona. I think that was all of them. <laughs> but we are all set, we're ready to go. I'm really, really enjoying not having to rush off anywhere at the crack of dawn. Normally it's like out the door at 4 a.m. while it's still dark. Um, but our boarding time today is at 12.30, um, all the way down in Southampton, so we'll be driving. Our cases are packed. I'm feeling like we've got quite a lot, but I'm gonna be honest, it's mostly because this bag, it's just filled with crisps um but yeah as i said can't wait to take you along i've done one cruise before with pno we did a week around the canary islands so i just can't wait to have all the days at sea explore the new ship get a bit of sun because it has been terrible weather here in the uk for the last few days and just relax so what are we waiting for let's go <laughs> There she is. Well, I'm so excited. I think this is like the dining room area. So we'll get really good views. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. We are both starving. The ship is just beautiful. It's been so well designed, and it, as Ryan said, it's absolutely huge. But we are hungry, so we're going to go to the Keys now for some food. See what they have to offer. I'm feeling Asian fusion. I think I might go the same. I am half tempted by a roast. So we can compare the two. Mm. See what they both look like. Yeah. But I love it, and just making the most of it while it's so quiet. We had a half twelve boarding. Boarding's until four o'clock, I think, or is it half four? Uh, half four latest boarding. So we've got all this time now to just enjoy the place to ourselves, basically, and get very lost. I think already lost. <laughs> yeah. We're looking for the lifts, and it looks great in there, but there's definitely no lifts. Oh, 
so far this has just been amazing so to give you context the last time i um was with pna was in february i was on the azura so a bit of an older ship uh, going around the canary islands and obviously avia it's brand new and you can tell it is stunning and i was saying to ryan it's so well thought out obviously we're going to have around six thousand people on this ship for two weeks which is a lot of people but just things like the way the food has been worked out we're currently in the keys so essentially it's like um quick service where there is a roast area um, there is hook wine and vinegar which is fish and chips and then there is also fusion which is like Asian fusion food and bear in mind there's not many people on board at the moment so we were chosen our food sat down within about 30 seconds but you can just see that this will work really well while everybody's on the ship along with the buffet and everything else and Ryan's just gone over there's a little buffet area for pudding so we'll see what he's got and um, I didn't fancy anything so I've just got my tea here what did you go for? Dulce de leche. Ooh. So handy having the bags brought to your room. Right, you're going to do the honours. Already been in here, so we're just going to recreate the room tour. So we've got a beautiful sized room. We've got sofas as being modelled by Ryan. Voila, he's found the ice bucket. Um, we did get a little welcome package. So um, we got flowers, we got a box of chocolates and we got some champagne. And that was 70 pounds if you're interested in doing that. And you need to do that before you get onto the ship. Um, lovely double sized bed, good size. And then I love this, that the wardrobes are actually all away. Um, when we were on Azura, this was more like a walk-in wardrobe and it was open, but you've got the doors. But look at the size of this. This is incredible. So. Again, I'm used to like, I was expecting the bathroom to be tiny, but oh my goodness, seriously, full size, full size shower. I know I'm only five foot two, but you've got loads of space in there. You're not like squished up against the wall. You've also got, and I love this, um, they use uh, the White Company bath products. So we've got some um, shower gel and we've got some shampoo, which would be really lovely to use. I've gone all echoey. Um, and then we've got towel racks and then this will be really handy having some little hooks out in the corridor and then i'm really liking that we've got the sofa so we've got like a nice lounge area and you do get different configurations you can sometimes get the bed when it's on this side of the room but i do quite like this being out here and then look at the size of the balcony how many ryans could we lie down on the balcony over over one of you for sure that's definitely over six foot long Oh yeah. That's incredible. Do you want me to just check? <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> we can have a whole Ryan. <laughs> We'd originally booked a different room because we thought we were going to have a balcony this size. We did a bit more research into it and actually we'd, we'd made a bit of an error. We were right right either above or below the nightclub. It's going to be really noisy. The vibration apparently just wasn't a good room. So we did pay a slight upgrade to get to this and it's more midship, which is lovely. It means less rockiness, but there's so much. Look at all this space for activities. He's gone. Um, and yeah, and then you can just see down here, we've got the, the promenade. So that's deck eight down there. We're deck 10. And then this is where we got on earlier, which also means that out of the two of us, I guess we the ship we were. But time now, I think, to sit back and relax. <laughs> Not a bad way to spend two weeks, is it? No. Right, what have we got? We've got hazelnut, we've got caramel, raspberry, orange. Who, who eats the orange chocolates? I know, not who a fan. Who can we ship them to? <laughs> um, another hazelnut filling, another hazelnut filling, a coffee, shotgun that. Another hazelnut, another hazelnut, and then would you like to guess what the last one is? Another hazelnut? Another hazelnut. <gasps> Good thing we both like hazelnut chocolate. Indeed, yeah. So when I said <laughs> we brought a case full of crisps, I was not joking. Um, in the event of us sounding like we've obviously got all inclusive here, we don't need more food. Um, if you want things like snacky things like crisps, etc., they're very expensive on board. Um, I believe that like a share bag of Maltesers, someone said was like nine pounds. So we like a little crisp, don't we? A little crisp before dinner. So we're gonna make up a little snack cupboard now. And then if we ha eat them, we eat them. And if we don't, we don't. And we've got things like popcorn as well, because you know, I'm sure there's gonna be a time when we wanna sit and watch a film. So we've got popcorn ready to go as well. So we've got a little case of snacks 
which I'm gonna unload got the clothes which everything needs to get put away and then just on the TV uh, we need to watch our little health and safety video as well so that's us all unpacked um i would say really really impressed with the storage in this room particularly in the bathroom um a couple of little tips for you actually um when our cabin steward came and had a little chat with us he seems like such a nice guy and um, when he came and had a little chat with us we did say oh do you happen to have any more hangers and within about two three minutes he brought us as many hangers as we wanted we just asked for like five more but he brought us over some hangers um how gorgeous are these i'm so glad we got them it's really really lovely and the chocolates were so well i say it like we've eaten all of them we haven't we've had one each but they were so delicious but yeah it's just little things in this room like these i think are such a good idea so if we do get a bit of like rockiness on the sea nothing's going to fall off the shelves in the bathroom as well they've got quite a few of those so just really really handy um so we're going to go we're going to have a little explore of the ship now um and just oh my goodness I cannot get over as well how good the soundproofing is on the room like just straight away the amount of noise you get by opening the door and the sun has come out i've put my shorts on it's beautiful just look at it got two whole weeks of this absolutely stunning if you sail over here now you'll always get a little horizon through in your room every day and this just gives you all the information of what's coming up on the next day so because this is our first day we've got like a welcome we've got an introduction to our captain who is captain paul brown but what i'm interested to know is where the sail away party is going to be so it's around six o'clock we're leaving and it looks like in the amber lounge and the crow's nest is the place to go for the sail away brian's looking absolutely thrilled can't wait can't wait it's gonna be great should we go explore? Yeah. How lovely is this? <laughs> we had a good old mooch around. Explored the various decks. Sat out on a few. We sat out on deck eight. That seemed like the quietest deck, didn't yeah. it? Out of all of them. And then we went up to deck 16 and then sat there for a while and we were waiting for um, sail away. However, unfortunately, and obviously we're really, you know, upset the person this happened to, someone's had to be taken off the ship for medical attention. So we've been delayed by quite a bit. But um, yeah, so we've come back to the balcony and it is about 10 degrees warmer here. It's only got much warmer. Oh my goodness. The breeze has gone. Yeah, I was so, I was getting quite cold up on the top deck, but we've got our crisps. See, they've come in handy already. Got our crisps, enjoying the view. It's lovely. And we're thinking Olive Grove for dinner tonight. We are, I think enjoying yeah. the, the queue. I yeah. think they might be a bit delayed with the so yeah. being a bit delayed so we'll give it a little bit of time a few crisps we'll see what happens yeah. it's a learning curve tonight mm. yeah learning curve see how it all works but yeah just soak it all in might need to put some sun cream on at this rate it's so warm it is very warm don't want to burn day one no never it's not a good, not good look is it and we're off We're off, we're sailing away, and we're also off to the Olive Grove, and we used the app, and Ryan, how long ago did you click for a table? About five minutes ago. So um, it's about 15 minutes, but... Incredible, and it's already been buzzed, and we're ready to go, and we've now got 15 minutes to get down to our table, so better get a move on. <laughs> dining so you can see the menu here and we don't have to pay a penny for any of it because we already have I thought it was fantastic. Um, the starter was excellent, and then we both went for the same main, didn't we? Aww. I felt like I was going to miss out if I didn't go for the same one as you, and I'm so glad I did. It was. We we said not only is it like the best thing we've had on this holiday, it's the best thing we've had in a restaurant for a very long time. Yeah. It was just so fresh. Had sweetness of pomegranate. Had chili. <clears throat> the mint. 
and the lamb was delicious. I will say, the pudding, not so great, but they brought mm. out like an ice cream gelato thing. So they were like, oh no, try this, try this. It's so good. Um, and actually I preferred that. Totally but bad, yeah. top marks for Olive Grove. Definitely, I, I'd eat there tomorrow. Well, we both said that, didn't we? It says a lot about a restaurant when you eat there for the first time and say, what are we doing tomorrow? Should we come back again? Yeah, but that was absolutely delicious. Anyway, that is us for tonight. And uh, it's a sea day tomorrow, so a bit of relaxation. And oh, no. we will see what we get up to. We will indeed. But yeah, that is the end of today. So see you in the morning. So we've had quite a late start this morning. It's been absolutely lovely. Just chilled out in bed, had a cup of tea, read my book, which is absolutely heartbreaking at the moment. I was like crying away to myself. I'm reading A Little Life and I'm very near the end and I can't quite cope. Um, but yeah, so we've just had a little mooch down. Um, we're both quite late risers. So we've come to Sixth Street Diner for breakfast because they serve brunch until two. Everywhere else is kind of until 11, half 10. That is our pager going off. We were told it'd be a 40 minute wait. Um, that's been about 10. I don't even have Ryan with me right now because <laughs> he went to get us a tea and coffee from Vistas. Um, so hopefully he'll be back soon and then we'll be able to get our breakfast. So that's one thing I would say, the queue times, they say it's gonna be a while and it just isn't. It is very busy on board today, but the weather's not great. It's quite cool. So I've got jeans and long sleeve top on. Um, so I think we're just gonna be taking it easy today, orientating ourselves around the ship, playing bingo. Cannot wait to do that. Um, and yes, yeah, so we're gonna have our brunch and then we'll go pick up our bingo cards and I think bingo's at like 4.15. So, you know, fully embracing the cruise ship life. And um, had a little mooch around the shops as well today and was hoping to get a Christmas decoration of Arvia, but sadly they've sold out and he was just like, oh, you'll just have to come back on another cruise for Christmas. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just hoping Ryan will be here soon <laughs> because it's time for brunch. brunch from Six Food Diner. The food was absolutely delicious. Um, I had chicken and waffles and it was so, so tasty. And Ryan had um, potato hash with salted beef, um, which was really good. I'm, I'm gonna be honest though, the service really wasn't that great. I think particularly comparing it to the Olive Grove last night where you just could not fault them. They were so attentive, um, you know, recommending dishes to us. Things like Ryan popped out to the loo quickly and our starters arrived, so they put a cloche over his meal to keep it warm. It was absolutely outstanding. Today, on the other hand, it, uh, they probably were understaffed. It didn't feel like it was overly busy. There weren't that many tables full, but there was a long wait to get in. So they must've been a bit understaffed, but like my waffle was delicious, but needed some syrup. It was very, very dry. So I asked for some syrup and we ended up having to ask two separate people for it. And then about 20 minutes later, so by the time I basically eaten my breakfast, it then came out um, and it did. It made it taste so much nicer. Um, but yeah, so that was that was a bit of a shame, but otherwise would definitely recommend. Um, and we are gonna go back and we are gonna try the lunch. We also popped to the casino and we picked up our bingo cards and bingo, what are these called, dabbers, dobbers? Um, they were two pound each. So if you do have one of these at home and you're thinking of doing bingo, make sure you bring it along because you do have to pay for these. And we went for two options. So there's five games and we went for the option where you got three three cards uh, and that was eight pounds and then we also no sorry that was 15 pounds we got three cards for each game and then we also got the one which was one card per game which was eight so we thought between the two of us we've got four games that we can play there and that's at 4 15 in the clubhouse playhouse one of the two so yeah we're just going to carry on mooching around we're going to have a look to see if we can find the gym just see what that's like and um, but it really is quite cold today so one thing's for sure we will not be sitting out <laughs> You are playing for a whopping ninety pounds. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Lots of money. Okay, so once again, guys, on your orange pieces of paper, only the middle line, one horizontal line. Okay, so if everyone is ready, let's crack on with the numbers. First up is number four. Oh my god! Number four. Followed by fourteen. Right, it's been a while since we've seen you, but we've had a lovely day just relaxing. We went, played bingo, didn't win. Uh, it was your first game bingo, wasn't it? Yeah, loved it, <laughs> loved it. Um, what else did we do? 
we sunbathed for a bit. We played Sudoku for we hours, for just hours. trying to work it out. Couldn't do it. Well, no, actually, you just did. Well, I was getting ready. You I, worked it out. I might have worked out when I had like an hour while you were getting ready. But yeah, we got there in the end. Absolutely. So it's been just a really, really nice chilled day. Sorry, I'm crashing you there. Uh, it's been a really oh, nice God. chilled day. Um, and now we're off to uh, Green & Co featuring Mitsuwana. So Green & Co is a vegan restaurant. We are meat eaters. Just got to say it. We're meat eaters. So I'm a bit apprehensive, but I've heard amazing things about this restaurant. And it features Mitsuwana, which is a sushi bar. So at the very least... We'll have some sushi. We both enjoy sushi. We enjoy sushi, so. so at the very least we'll find something we like. Um, you might be surprised. You might find something that... Who knows? Suddenly, you're like... Absolutely. Whoa. Yeah. Issue is we don't like mushrooms, and this is, this is a bit I'm nervous about. That is the issue, isn't it? Mm. They put mushrooms in a lot of vegan, vegetarian stuff. But we'll see. We are currently on deck 10. Mitsuwana is on deck 8, so it should take... We're currently meant to be at our table right now, so we'd better make <laughs> a move. And <laughs> see ya. Let's for vegan food. <laughs> so this is the pakora, the sweet potato pakora. That's the sweet potato pakora, that's the cauliflower uh, tempura. Yeah. And the Mediterranean medley. Mediterranean medley. With many things. Beetroot, falafel, dip, Pumpkin. Hadron pepper, pumpkin dip, some kind of croquette. Well, we hated every second of that. I'm going to be honest, that was absolutely incredible. How good was that? Ryan's currently eating popcorn because we're about to have a movie night. We're gonna watch Waitress um, and just enjoy because it's still pretty light outside, but it is what, 10 o'clock? Just gone 10. Just gone 10, so we were like, we don't wanna go to sleep yet, but also we don't wanna be like out out still. So we're gonna have a movie night. I can't get over how light it is out there. Um, Green & Co was insane. We both agreed that it kind of went starter main pudding in terms of how we enjoyed it. The starter was just incredible. I think partly having so many different things to, to, to try was just, it was all so delicious. I think for me particularly, the green dip and the beetroot dip were just so good. Um, really, really enjoyed the Chuckalaka Wellington. It was so tasty. You could tell it was vegetarian, but it was still really tasty. I wasn't so keen on your sushi. I think your Wellington did a fantastic job at disguising itself as meat. Going in knowing that it was trying to disguise itself as meat made it more enjoyable for me. Mm. Because it was a fantastic alternative. If you were trying to cut down on your meat consumption, that Wellington yeah. was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. I mean, you could tell it wasn't meat, but as Ryan said, like, it did have, it wasn't the consistency of beans, which was what it was made of. It was like stringy, like lamb was. It was, yeah, it was really well done, wasn't it? And the pudding was probably a bit disappointing, if I'm honest. I had the chocolate earth plate, I think was what it was called, and you had the panna cotta? Panna cotta. Visually. Stunning. Incredible. It yeah. was stunning. Both of them were, weren't they? They, they were, were both they beautiful. Were impeccable. Visuals, nine out of ten. Mm. Taste, 6 out of 10. It was still yummy, but... The mushrooms on my chocolate plate, 10 out of 10. If I just had that, it would have been my favourite mm. course. The other things on my plate, I wasn't actually, I didn't really like. The, the tarrag, oh, tarragon jelly was not for me. No, um, not nice. No. But um, that was my personal preference. Um, we've exactly. no idea how much it came to because we didn't get a bill. <laughs> 
I find this so weird walking out of a restaurant and not paying but um, we will find out on the my holiday app and um, we have we are going to have £20 knocked off because we had to pay a deposit so that we could get um, the slot given to us. But we didn't even have to like physically pay tonight. It's all just going to come off the My Holiday app. So you can look at that through your TV. I mean, right now we've got the waitress. The start to waitress. Ready to go. And I'm so full. So I'm going to get into my pyjamas and then watch the film. So anyway, we will see you in the morning when we are going to be in La Coruña and we are going to be doing a tapas tour. So look forward to seeing you then. Good morning. We have arrived at our first port. We're in La Coruña, um, or as I incorrectly said when I opened the curtains this morning, Marseille. <laughs> but we are in La Coruña. I will show you outside. It's a gray day today, um, but it's meant to get to about 20 degrees. So a good kind of temperature for, for some exploring. So this is the port. And what's really nice about this port is that we can just walk out and then we're straight in La Coruña. Um, so we're going to go, we're going to do our own little tapas trail. And there is a... Right, and what's it called that so we're going to? Tower Hercules? Yeah. We're going to somewhere, it's like a big monument. Hercule is probably how it's pronounced, but on the map, Tour de Hercules or something like that. And there's lots of photo opportunities along the way so it's about 2.3 kilometers away so we're just going to walk there ourselves and I'm like looking at the tall hills to see if it's in that direction I don't know we've got google maps we're going to follow our noses and do some exploring crossword and our Sudoku. He's all ready. Speed! You are speed! You get it? Ciao. What a glorious day today has been. Really, really enjoyed La Coruña. Um, turns out today was a bank holiday which later made sense to us um, and I'll explain that in a minute but basically everything was shut but we will we'll go into that in a minute um, we as we said we were going to went to the Torre de Hercule Torre de Hercule which is one of the oldest lighthouses to have ever been made and there's so many myths around it so one of the myths was that it was where Hercules had fought some kind of God and where the skull of this monster god thing had been buried. So we very much enjoyed that. It was a beautiful coastal walk, wasn't it? It was. Walked out to the prawn. Yeah, it weren't that sculptures, it was excellent. <laughs> we went so we went all the way around, just about as I said, about 2.4 kilometres to the lighthouse, and then we suppose we didn't use Google for it, but we wanted to walk around and see what this prawn monument thing was. About another kilometre, would you say? Yeah. And then we began our own mini tapas tour. Oh my goodness, how good was the... It was phenomenal, it wasn't was it? It was so good. It was so was cheap as well. So cheap. Well, if you went, you could have main meals, or you could make those main meals tapas, and it was one euro sixty. 
they were decent sized plates for one sixty. Incredible. It was, just, it was fantastic to just have a little mix of everything. Every single thing was so <coughs> delicious. Our only thought was that calamari needs a slice of lemon. That says it all, doesn't it? It was absolutely <laughs> delicious. Um, point of note if you're ever doing this cruise though and you fancy going to this tapas place make sure you take cash because yeah. <laughs> it Did doesn't take cards no we'd ordered all our food all our drinks and uh they only take cash started eating started drinking and then i saw a sign that i thought said something about no card yeah. and i went Maybe we should just check, and the guy was like, yeah, no card, only cash. Yeah, so I had to run out and find a cash point, and it was all fine, it all worked out. That's how you know you're in a great local spot. Yeah, exactly. And then we went exploring, and we found, basically, it was, it's apparently St. James's Day today, and there was this, like, medieval fair on. Mm. It was incredible, it was so cute that in the, like, town square, they held all these rides that made, like, into medieval rides. They were so, so lovely. And then we went and we found, like, food, we found drinks to have. It was so lovely. And then we boarded back on the ship and we had our own little sail away party. <laughs> we didn't go to the sail away party because it's so loud and noisy in the atrium. <laughs> that sounds so old. I am. Um, but that's just not that's not our jam. But that's the nice thing about cruise you make it what you want. So. And we like the quiet life. <laughs> so yeah, and now we're back on the balcony. We don't know what we're going to do for dinner. We're thinking maybe Olive Grove. It was so good the first time. Was it Olive Grove? I had to do it twice. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah, Olive Grove. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to enjoy. We're going to play some cards out on the balcony. I mean, look at this view. You don't really get much better than that, do you? So we're just going to enjoy the sun, enjoy the warmth, and then head off to dinner at some point when we're feeling hungry. The queue takes so little time, it's just join when you're ready. Yeah. Well, that is another day done. Olive Grove was absolutely delicious. Would say it highlighted to us just how incredible the service was on our first night there. I also am very aware that I might look very, very red. I'm looking in the camera screen. I had a very You've definitely caught the sun. I will add, I put loads of sun cream on today. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we very much enjoyed um, Olive Grove. I had the same starter as what I had before. Um, Ryan, you quite enjoyed your... The Meze Platter. Meze Platter. It was a perfect little combination of everything. Pita bread, tomato, feta, cucumber, olives. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. Delicioso. Um, and then main, I had the piri piri chicken. Don't get me wrong, it was lovely, and I quite enjoyed it being bonus chicken, but it was not a patch on the lamb flatbread, the lamb flatbread. which was no. just something else. And you would say the same about your lasagna, wouldn't you? You enjoyed I, it? I'm like Garfield. I love a lasagna. You do a fantastic lasagna. Thanks. It was a good lasagna. But it wasn't my lasagna. But I'd have eaten the lamb flatbread for six months before I tried the yeah. lasagna again. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, but no, all in all, it was a lovely night. And we have, we, we both said to each other, ooh, because we didn't really like the puddings at Olive Grove. I'm going to be honest, they weren't that nice. Um, so we're like, how about some cheese and crackers? And that's exactly what we've done. So we're going to make ourselves a cup of tea, enjoy our cheese and crackers, and we will see you in the morning. Well, hello. If you cannot tell, it's clearly not morning. <laughs> <laughs> and we're actually all dressed for a formal night. Look at him. Look how smart he is. Look how I don't oh, fit into the I definitely have just, there you go. <laughs> you decapitated me. I did. Hey, look, the only bit you need to worry about is here down. This bit up doesn't matter. We have got quite a significant height difference. But yeah, it's formal night tonight. So we've had a sea day and it's just been really, really chilled out. We've just been sunbathing all day. I finished my book. A little life which was heartbreaking i cried about it for most of the morning um and that was basically all we did wasn't it we just sunbathed all day which was wonderful sea day well spent. absolutely we've got another sea day tomorrow um, and actually tomorrow we have ordered the champagne continental breakfast it is our officially one year countdown to our wedding tomorrow so we're going to celebrate with that so we'll show you what that's all like tomorrow morning um but for now it is the um celebration night which means everyone's in their formal attire runs in his very smart suit i have got my ball gown on um and we're gonna go get some photos in the atrium now 
on the celebration nights you do get a free drink we have said these are a little redundant for us i am sorry i'm gonna just cut you off here <laughs> head, head up <laughs> We have said these are a bit redundant for us given that um, we've obviously got the, the drinks package um, so I don't know if we'll use them or not. It, who knows? If we can give them to someone we'll see if we can do that. Um, but yeah we're going to go to the atrium, they've got some professional photographers there tonight and then we're at the Epicurean tonight. Now we pre-booked this and I think it was £24 a head. I think if you book it while you're on ship <laughs> it's £30 per person but it is £24 per person we dined there in February and it was wonderful wasn't it oh it was the best an incredible yeah. meal it's basically like a four or five course meal it's delicious so we're very very much looking forward to that and we'll show you what we have realizing I never kind of signed out last night going to be honest it all got cut a little bit short unfortunately um, Ryan hasn't been feeling that well and we've actually just had to call the doctor um, the doctor thinks he's absolutely fine I'm not going to go into it but in short we don't need to be isolated in our cabin or anything like that um, but we do just need to keep an eye on him so we'll see how that goes so the night basically got quite kind of short and um, we we left Epicurean and came straight back to the room which was a shame for for formal night but ultimately you know I'm worried about Ryan and and we did we did that and that was the right thing to do and we've got another formal night coming up so we'll get to enjoy that one hopefully properly next week um Epicurean was nice um the food was exceptional as I remembered it being we've dined at Epicurean once before I can't remember if I said that last night so um I had a crab and salmon caviar starter mojito thing which was presented so beautifully in this big wine glass and Ryan had this uh, ham on which was like a, a cured meat starter which was really really nice um, and then for mains I had lamb belly which I've never had before but it was absolutely delicious and you had a black cod and lobster tail which was also very very nice I did have a pudding um, I didn't get any footage of that but I had a lemon meringue tart which was so delicious the meringue was still slightly warm it was just oh it was just so 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 well done really enjoyed it I would say though that the service was appalling last night I think our table just completely got forgotten about we sat there for about 40 minutes before someone came and took our drinks order um and things like we were just having to wait ages between each course to be even asked what we wanted we were then asked what we wanted for pudding and we're like we have the pudding menus um and they were like oh sorry and then it took another 15 minutes for the menus to come out for the pudding so we've had really mixed experiences I'd say on the ship so far we've had like in the olive grove on our first night I think some of the best service I've ever had in my life and then events like last night where it just really wasn't very good but we've got our breakfast being delivered to the room this morning it is our one year countdown to our wedding next year so we're going to celebrate um, with a champagne breakfast which will be really really lovely um, it costs £25 and it's for two people um, and I will show you what you get when that all comes through um, it's currently half nine in the morning and I'm just peering over to look at deck eight and every single sunbed has already gone so if you're interested in that um, all the sunbeds have gone I'd say about 50% are occupied and 50% have been reserved Okay, this is absolutely insane. For £25, we've got a half bottle of champagne. We have got some lovely orange juice, some yogurts, jams, cured meats, cheeses, fruit and nuts, tea, coffee and milk. And then we have also got some pastries with some butter there. And then we have also got some fruit. Are you looking forward to trying all of this? I'm worried I over at dinner last night. This is a lot to take <laughs> this on. This is at incredible. In the wow. Well, happy one year to go. Happy one year countdown. Well, that breakfast was absolutely 
delicious honestly i would recommend that one million percent to anyone who was thinking of doing it as i said it was 25 pounds um and when we were in epicurean last night i'm pretty sure 25 pounds was the price for half a bottle of champagne which is what we got with the breakfast so i think again just really really good value um it's actually quite overcast today which in many ways is quite nice because we got a lot of sun yesterday so we've just spent the whole morning on the balcony doing the crossword failing miserably at sudoku reading my book um and we're going to go have a little mooch round now maybe take a couple of games up to the top deck do you think definitely yeah it sit at a, a table um, mm. so we might need to find somewhere a bit sheltered but there's yes. loads of tables and yeah. stuff in shelter so look at you all set ready to go all set ready to go i thought i just saw more dolphins but i don't think i did we've seen dolphins this morning as well which has been lovely Sorry, and a couple just jumping out <laughs> some jumping out the window um out the window they were not jumping out the window jumping out the water um but yeah oh it's muggy today i tell you that it's very very warm it's quite sticky 22 23 23 but where it's so overcast it just feels a bit muggy but um yeah we're gonna go up now to the top deck and just have a little explore really well it's been a lovely old afternoon we did quite a bit of hunting and eventually found a couple of sun loungers on the top deck and it got sunny so we just had a little sunbathe which was really really lovely i've read so much of my book so far i'm reading the seven husbands of evelyn hugo it is so so good if you love a kind of fiction non-fictiony kind of book definitely go give it a read um interestingly we've just seen on the tv so in fact i'll show you when you turn on the home page um i think there maybe have been a few complaints about the whole sunbed situation because when you turn on the tv i'll show you the first thing that now comes up is a whole notice about sunbeds and sun loungers and in short basically what it's saying is that if you leave your sun lounger it will get stickered and then if you're not back within half an hour your stuff will be put by a um simple so we'll see if that makes the situation any better i will be 100 percent honest with you it has been a little bit of an issue on this cruise um but i'd say when you're walking around about 30 percent maybe going up to 40 percent of the sun loungers are reserved without anyone sat on them and it can be incredibly frustrating but if you are someone that's coming on this cruise i do want to also reassure you and if you do walk for long enough you will always find somewhere it is most likely going to be somewhere in the shade but the sun comes round, etc etc so looking at our balcony now it's absolutely glorious out there the temperature has just soared all of a sudden so we're going to go out we've got some champagne because i keep going on about it but it's our one year countdown to our wedding so we're going to go celebrate and we've got dinner tonight at the glass house now this was one that you could not book in advance it does come at an extra cost so when we're ready we'll just join the virtual queue so it's only about four um so it won't be too long a wait it's maybe not the place for everyone it's very much a steakhouse if you don't like steak definitely not for you the other thing that's it may be off-putting for some people is that it is not like a separate room it's very much in the atrium and keel and cow is the same but um we love the glass house don't we we sure do and we when we said ah 27th july we were like that is the one that is where we want to have our meal um for the countdown so anyway let's go out onto the balcony enjoy the evening sun it is scorching um and uh get the evening started i also forgot to say I've broken my sunglasses today. So if you see some sellotape, that is why. And actually reception were really, really helpful. And we just went down and they tried to give me some glue to make it work, but it didn't. So Take gaffer it tape it is. <laughs> We're at the glass house and we've been seated at the most gorgeous table. Look at the view we have from here. Isn't that gorgeous? Looking at the sea below us. I need to make a quick reduction because I did say don't come to the glass house if steak isn't your thing because it's a steakhouse. It absolutely on this ship is not. Uh, there is in fact uh, the starters consist of tapas uh, to choose from and then for your mains you either choose from a beef trio, a chicken trio, a pork trio or a seafood trio or a vegan trio. So there really is something for everyone. So I'm not going to lie, my mouth is watering, this menu looks insane. Ryan's looking at me because I always say this when we come to a restaurant every time. Look at him my mouth is that. literally watering. You can look at the McDonald's menu and go, oh my mouth is watering, look at the chicken nuggets. 
my mouth is literally watering um so i'll show you guys now because this menu just looks so so good so my thought is i'm gonna go for the uh, lamb cutlets the meatballs and the you're going for chicken wings, I'm going for Thai prawns. Ryan is going to go for the potatoes bravas because we do love that. And then also the chicken wings. And what's your third choice? Scallops. Scallops. So we'll get a little good mixture of them. I'm going to go for the chicken trio for my main. And Ryan, have you made a decision? Secret trio. You're going to go for the secret trio. Good morning and welcome to Valencia. It is nine o'clock in the morning and it is already 28 degrees. Um, it's gonna be very, very hot today, should we say. Um, we've got our one and only p and We've got our one and only p and um, excursion today. We're gonna to be heading to the bio park, which is basically like a zoo. It's meant to be unlike any other zoo though, in that they actually recreate the environment for the, the the animals live in we'll see we'll see when we get there um last night glass house was divine as as you saw it wasn't what we were expecting we were actually as i said thought we were going to a steakhouse but it was so so delicious and um, it comes at a slightly extra cost so everything we had came to 34 pounds so our drinks obviously were included in our drinks package i would say that the food was definitely pricier than we were expecting doesn't matter we've got so much on board spending we need to spend it but still 30 pounds 30 four pounds for all of that food for two people oh, i mean what can you say can you see the little boat going behind me i can't wait to explore valencia um our excursion is at 12 so we've got a couple of hours now and then we'll have a couple of hours when we get back we get back at four and the ship leaves at six so we'll have a couple of hours afterwards so we're going to go to the keys for breakfast thinking hash brown freshly made omelet um and then we'll go and explore valencia for a little bit and you're coming through P&O, it's actually quite difficult getting off the ship and into town. We've always just walked straight from the ship into wherever we're going. Um, to get to Old Town, it would have been about a half hour, 40 minute ride, bus ride, um, to get to the place. So when we got off the ship, we realized we didn't have time to, to leave, go out, because we wouldn't be back in time for quarter to 12 to come to the bio park. Um, so we just went up, back onto the top deck, enjoyed the quietness of the ship, had a drink of water, things like that. Um, and now we're at the bio park and it is absolutely lovely here. Um, we've both been saying, never been anywhere before where you can see animals and enjoy them without having a glass between you. And the space that the animals have been given is just amazing. And it's been so beautifully done and laid out. Uh, we definitely recommend. So this was a, um, you could do this independently if you want, but it would take a while. It took us about half an hour, 40 minutes in the bus to get here. And we had a lovely tour of Valencia on our way. Um, the tour was £50 per person um, to do through p and I think the entry to the to the bio park is about €30 Euros per person, so you can see there is a bit of a markup. But going with p and I means that if we are delayed or whatever, then the ship will wait for us. And we have had in the past, we've done our own excursion independently and then almost didn't make it back for like reasons beyond our control, <laughs> aka a bus broke down. Um, so yeah, and we, Ryan's in the Pacific tier, so it meant that we got 5% off, so it was £45 per person. It was great. So we've ordered lunch, we got a pepperoni pizza, 
which was 10 euros 60. 10 euros 90 with the bottle of, with water, the bottle of well. water. And then we put it through a Monzo um, and we chose to pay in euros, not pounds, which came back at 9 pounds 38. So not too bad. fantastic i mean seeing everything up, up close and personal like that was just an experience like no other yeah it was fantastic i'd argue the best zoo we've ever been to so well designed so beautiful the animals had so much space but anyway back onto the bus now and back to the ship Thank you. Have you got good morning um we are now on day seven um, and we are currently on our way sailing over to Marseille. So this is our one stop in France. We've got five stops in Spain and this is our one stop in France. It is absolutely boiling today and you can tell because we've just looked out over our balcony. It's 10 in the morning and we're on the shady, sh we're on the, the, shady? the shady side of the ship and all the, um, all the sun lounges on this side of the ship have gone and you can see by my camera missing up how warm it is. Review of um, Keel and Cow last night. What did you think, Ryan? I thought it was excellent. I thought the service was a bit slow again, which is a recurring theme here, but you yeah. can't fault the food, the food's not laughing. No, we would say the service is not the waiter's fault. They are, they're doing everything they can. There's just not enough of them. And we've talked to a few people, we've got a couple of friends who are on the ship as well, and everyone's kind of had the same experience, and it's it's not anyone's fault, it's just there's not enough people on the ship. Um, but yeah, Keel and Cow, everything was absolutely delicious. I had duck i didn't realize it was going to come bow buns that was my fault i didn't read the menu but it was delicious all the same you weren't so keen on your starter at least favorite starter of the holiday for me. yeah it wasn't um, horrible just not what you well i like to sometimes be adventurous with my food because i don't like to go with the same thing every time i see it on the menu otherwise i'd have nachos and a burger every time i go out anywhere <laughs> all the time uh, and i saw chicken and bacon and in mm. a word i didn't recognize and i thought well how, how bad could that be it and turns out the word she didn't recognize wasn't for you it was like a pate, but it was gelatinous, so yeah. just a bit. Yeah, it was great. And then, <laughs> and then I had spatchcock chicken. Oh my goodness. I'm glad it didn't say on the menu that it was a sharer, but it was an entire chicken. I was served an entire chicken for my dinner. I didn't finish it, but it was delicious. It was one of those where you're just like, I'm so sad, I'm not finishing it. It was delicious, but you couldn't finish a whole chicken. I could surprise surprise I was like picking at the skin at the end like I don't want this to be wasted and then you had the Prime Minister burger which was lovely wasn't it and the ketchup came on the side so if you're a ketchup hater it's okay the ketchup comes on the side so you're good. no and we were thinking we were trotting along there we're like oh we might actually have a pudding tonight no nope. but I'm still we're not having breakfast this morning because we're still full from last night um, so yeah, I, I really did enjoy Keel and Cow, and again, it was a bit like Glass House, in fact, it's the floor above Glass House, it's in the atrium, so you, st you can still see what's going on, there were no shows last night, but it was a really lovely atmosphere, and then we went to the Sky Dome, there was a lady playing, the there was some live music actually, actually. yeah, we just couldn't see her, but she was down in the atrium, and then we went to the Sky Dome in the evening, and we saw X, which, the closest thing I can compare it to is the Blue Man Group. So the Blue Man Group is made of three blue men. This was made of about 10 to 15 green people. And they were just discovering the world around them. And it was, as the programme described, organised chaos. I loved it. I thought, you'd need to be blooming fit to be able to do that performance. Yeah. Jumping around everywhere and running everywhere. All and of them, well, they really gave it they were really into it. <laughs> they had some audience karaoke participation and we were on the top floor rather than down by the swimming pool area. So if you're like Ryan and you're hanged with anxiety the moment they bring out the pointing finger like, don't choose me, sit where we were up in the top because you won't get picked. I, just, I was secretly I could, hoping I was going to get picked. I could just <laughs> see it coming, the, the classic British cliche that you're going to point the karaoke mic at me and get me the same sweet character. I was like, oh. See, Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. Great song. It was great though. Very I really enjoyed it. It was funny though because you just heard all these people around you being like, I have no idea what's going on. There wasn't a storyline. They were just having fun. Day to see today, so we're going to have quite a chilled one. We're just enjoying a cup of tea on the balcony. We're going to try and do some crazy golf today. Uh, we haven't. We've brought Japer with us. We've not played that yet, so might give that a crack. 
right, if we can find a proper table. Um, and to ice be cream. decided, ice cream. I haven't had ice cream yet. And to be decided where we have dins tonight. So, yeah, lovely relaxing day ahead. So we were just talking about the kind of things that we wanted to do on the ship before holidays over and we both said we'd really like to do the Skywalk. Now, unbelievably, somehow, in the time we were looking on the My Holiday app, a slot came up for today at midday. We were looking, we were like, oh, we're going to have to go on a port day. We were thinking we'd probably do Barcelona because we've already been to Barcelona very recently. Um, but yeah, it just popped up, so I'll show you very quickly. All you do is you go onto the My Holiday app, which is not really an app, it's a web page, and you get it via the free um, P&O Wi-Fi. And then you would just go on to um, Entertainment, and you'd click on there, and then all the bookings are here, and you just book it there, and it's £7.50 per adult and I think £2.50 for children. Can't wait. I like how on this you can make it different challenges for yourself. But this is what we're going to be doing. Doing so well. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. incredible i absolutely loved it we didn't end up staying up for the whole hour with the instruction time it's about 15 minutes so you probably have about an hour and 15 on the high ropes but there is zero breeze today it was so hot and we both really needed to have a drink of water so we were on probably for about 45 minutes i'm gonna be honest i was so scared at the start but you kind of built up your confidence as you went along and there weren't too many people there's probably about eight people on the nine eight in our group and then a few more joined in about half an hour yeah. halfway through so you were never really waiting for anything you could choose you could go different routes as well so you could go for a route that had less people on um yeah i just loved it did the did the walk the plank rang the bell and um, did the ones that had no hands on them did the like bendy bendy floor i don't know how else to describe it um but we are both so gross so sticky and in need of some food so we're gonna head to the sky dome and go to the pool bar where they serve um pizza and burgers and we're gonna get those and hopefully have a dip in the pool be that a pool or the um summit bar don't know somewhere with water to just cool off uh so yeah that was just brilliant i would 100 percent recommend i think it's probably best to book earlier in the trip because we as i said earlier didn't think we were going to be able to get a slot for it it was just pure luck that there happened that we were just scrolling to see and then suddenly one appeared for an hour's time i was so lucky i'm so grateful that we got to do it so yeah it was really great <sighs> i am absolutely boiled so what are we doing tonight um we've had a really nice time sitting out on the balcony it's it was boiling hot um actually rewind um we had a really really lovely lunch um they had all sorts they had pizza they had paella they had um burgers they had hot dogs so we got a little mixture of everything you particularly enjoyed the paella didn't you oh paella was fantastic mm. yeah and given that it's a P&O cruise and it wasn't somewhere in the heart of spain i really enjoyed it yeah paella. and you hadn't had it so i was like oh, i'll pick it up what's the worst that can happen and actually it was actually really nice um and then we just had a little dip in the pool sat on the balcony played some double um and had a great time to be honest um and now we're heading out we're not that hungry given how much we had for lunch so plan is we're going to go back to green and co because it's quite light the food there we probably won't go for any big mains or anything like that we'll share some starters maybe have some sushi and then determined to have ice cream today <laughs> so we're gonna go to ripples for our pudding and have ice cream now both green and co and ripples come at an extra cost they're not included in your cruise fare um and then we'll see where the night takes us maybe have a drink somewhere who knows we'll see what happens so another evening goes by and i take off my makeup and realize i've forgotten to talk about the night before um so green and co was amazing last night just as good if not better from what we remembered before we were so impressed they remembered us um, but remind it's been almost
almost a week since we were in there, all the waiters were like, oh yes, you were here, you were sat over there. Uh, they absolutely remembered us. Um, they offered to still give us a talk through the menu if we wanted it. We were like, no, we, we know exactly what we want. Um, so we went for exactly the same starter as we did before and it was just divine. Uh, and then we went for a slightly different main in that I, Ryan still had sushi and we shared, um, and I went for the chili tostadas. And we both said we could not get over that this was not meat and cheese. It was all vegan. I, I, it blew my mind. Um, but that was us saying we wanted a light dinner and we came out fuller than ever. So we had a little stroll along the promenade and then we went to Clubhouse and we watched Pulse perform and they were performing like proper 80s cheesy tracks. Um, think Pet Shop Boys, think Madonna, think... Um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. It was it was so much fun. We really really enjoyed it, and then it was then it was off to bed. So I'm actually going to stop the vlog here uh, because that is now us halfway through the holiday. I can't believe um, that we're already at this stage. But thank you so much to those of you that have watched this far, and um, don't forget to subscribe so that you can follow along with next week's adventures um, and see what we get up to. Uh, it's going to be there's going to be three no there's going to be four ports, uh, a couple of sea days, and then obviously disembarking at Southampton which we're not going to think about because that is a whole week away but anyway thank you so much for watching and until next time see you later